Cameron, obviously on a bye week, you know, you practice less, you're not preparing specifically for an opponent, but uh, how much of a break really is a bye week or is it just kind of a different week for y'all? Um, we're not going to take it as a break. Like, it's just, we're not playing an opponent this week, so we're just going to focus on building what we need to work on, offense and defensively. But offensively, we're going to come together as a unit and just focus on that. Charlie. You talk about you know, things you need to work on. Just as an offense, as a team, what do you think is an area or areas you guys need to improve in order to, to finish the way you want to? Um, you know, one thing we try to do is finish, finish a game on a strong note. We did that versus Tennessee, but also pre-snap penalties, you know, things that we can control. That's what we need to work on. Michael. I asked Evan about this, but did you uh... – how much did you guys smell the cigar smoke down on the sideline or on the field uh, in the fourth quarter of that game Saturday? Yeah, it was it was very noticeable. There was a lot of smoke everywhere. Follow up questions. Go ahead, Katie. Uh, this is something I asked Evan about, but with Saban kind of having a big uh, milestone birthday this weekend, um, what's one of the reasons you wanted to come play for Coach Saban, and then what are some things you've learned from him? Um, it's kind of a cliche answer, but he's just the best in the game. I wanted to learn from the best, obviously, and grow as a player and also like move away to an area where I could do that myself. And but one thing I learned is probably that um, your mindset when you play the game, you can't be like emotional. Like you got to just prepare for the game and trust that instead of being emotional or too emotional. Go ahead, Charlie. It, obviously, uh, pass protection might be an area you want to focus on, not you specifically, but the offense. But as a guy that's out in a route a lot of the times, how do you think just blocking in general can improve for you guys? Um, that's really not – I don't know how to answer that question. Like, cause... Go ahead, Tony. Yeah, what have you seen from Robbie Utes, uh, not only as a tight end, but he also has that role as the uh, fullback. And uh, I guess what have you seen from him this season? Um, Robbie, I love Robbie. Robbie comes to work every day. Yes, sir, mentality, just to help the offense as a unit. And he has a good role in coming in at fullback and just blowing up anything he sees. And that's he accepted that role, and he's learning every day and getting better. Steven? Cam, like, 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 what's something you've picked up from Ben LeBron just eight games in? What, what, what have you taught you the most so far? I'm sorry, I said that again? Um, ben LeBron just eight games in. What, what has he taught you the most so far as the OC? Um, I'll say, you know, one thing he's told me is he's uh, he created the seam route. He made the seam route what it is. So i say that's what I learned from him. He's a very... I, I just like being coached by Coach O'Brien. I'm just really making a joke, but I like everything he's done because, yeah. Michael. Yeah, how would you assess the way you guys tight ends in the passing game? How, how would you assess the way you guys have played uh, in the first eight games of the year? Um, I think we've played pretty, pretty solid. Um, we just have some things to work on, and that's what we're going to do this week, and we're going to we're going to, I want to say, my bad. We're going to grow from the what we've just seen these last eight weeks and, and grow from there. Charlie. With, with Bryce's scrambling ability, how much does your role change as soon as he kind of gets out the pocket and starts to, to move with his legs? And, and how efficient has he been in that regard in these last couple games? Uh, you know, as a receiver you, or like someone that catches the ball, you want to get in his vision when he scrambles. So that's... You just gotta just have a mentality that the whole route is shut down. Just get in his vision so that you can he can get the ball off or 